friends. Um, I thought since I took a recent uh, touristy trip to Paris, uh, which is unusual for me, I'm usually um, off in the hinterland somewhere riding my motorcycle, but this time it was a urban vacation undertaking. And so I thought I needed a little urban EDC bag for uh, both the plane and for walking around. I had originally looked at an Osprey sling bag, but I thought it looked a little too sporty um, or athletic, I guess, compared to kind of the image I wanted to create for myself. Um, so I didn't get that and I ended up with this travel on bag. I removed the stitching on the travel on label. I didn't want something that screamed tourist as much in terms of screaming valuable goodies might be in here. So I did do that. Um, it's way, it's about half price, around 60 bucks, I think. So way cheaper compared to the PackSafe uh, travel bags. I don't know if the features are quite as robust, but it does have these little zippers that um, push in like a carabiner in order to slide them off of the hook here on both of these two front pockets. It has these zipper expandable um, wing pockets here. Um, and then security wise, uh, there's also a, a kind of toggle here that you have to move in order to open up the strap um, buckles. So those are kind of the main security features. Honestly, I'll put a link for the bag out there. There might be some RFID feature in there as well. I don't know. But this is what I went with. So this is kind of halfway a review about this bag and halfway just a bag dump for what I've found to work for me. So um, when out and about, that means especially on the plane, I might have some energy bars and a bottle of water um, that's empty until I get through security and then I fill it up. This way I can drink even if I'm off cycle from when the um, flight attendants come by. These nicely zip in when you're not using them. Uh, when you're not on a plane, what fits nice in here, if you're an umbrella person, I'm from Seattle, so I'm not really an umbrella person, but you could fit an umbrella in there uh, as well. Anything that's not too valuable that you don't mind stuffing in. All right, so let's get into this bag. Back pocket here, which is against your body, is pretty nice because it's, um, you know, it's harder for somebody to want to dig in there. It's weird, again, I don't travel in cities a lot, but watching some YouTube videos, pickpocketing in Paris seems like it's supposed to be a big deal. I never felt any pressure to that extent. Maybe it was just my particular environments, but um, I'm gonna start with a mask. Regardless of how you feel about masks, um, nobody on planes wears masks anymore. Um, and the lady behind me in the seat had an active respiratory infection, hacking, splattering, Oh man, she made me full of rage. She should have worn a mask for the rest of us who are trying to have a vacation or come home without using sick time. So put on a mask if you've got splattery people around you or if you're splattering, I would hope at the very least. That's advice from your neighborhood nurse. Um, I don't have my passport in here, but this is filling in for my passport. Put that back there, at least for the plane. And I just use a slim wallet. Usually I use the big skinny, but I like this one with the little helicopters on it. I thought it was cute. And I just carried, you know, um, ATM card, driver's license, and um, two credit cards, one for backup. And I usually separate them. So if I'm out and about in case I lose something, I will have one card at home and the other card with me. Um, of course, there's Apple Pay as well for all the tech happy people. Continuing with the bag dump. AirPods. I tend to download a lot of um, videos on my cell phone case. I have one of those kickstands on the back. So you put down your tray table, kickstand your phone, use your own AirPods in case you don't like the movies or on shorter domestic flights, maybe they don't have movies. So that's always good. Whether it's sunglasses or glasses, a glasses case. Also <laughs> on planes, earplugs in case there's people squealing like little widgets and you just need some rest. So again, I'm gonna unhook the little tab here. I got this, um, which got through all sorts of security. Um, doesn't matter, um, museums, airports, it's plastic. It's got a pretty sharp serrated blade though, which is great for any kind of foodstuffs. 
and the fork and spoon. They nest nicely. I actually didn't end up needing this, um, but I thought it'd be really handy to have and I'm glad I brought it. Purell, I'll we'll put that over with the mask. Tissues, I didn't need these, but um, a lot of times bathroom situations aren't great. Maybe you gotta pop a squat somewhere. Maybe you just gotta sneeze. Not bad to have. Um, some trips I'll bring baby wipes, but for this one, just some tissues. What else do I have in here? Brought a separate pen, but I brought a pencil. Sometimes I prefer that. And maybe we'll do this bag of fun last because it's the most EDC-like. Um, let's go into the main compartment. I brought a journal thinking I would journal. I actually didn't. Uh, it's kind of like when I bring a book and think I'll have time to read and I don't. I did use this, which is just for taking smaller notes um, about plans. Maybe you found a restaurant you wanted, whatever. Some people are more modern and young and crafty, and they just use their cell phones to do all these things. But sometimes I like to write stuff down. There's so many pockets in here. Um, a loose one here, a main compartment, a zipped pocket. There's a little key lanyard with a light on the end, which is kind of neat. That came with it. Um, I always carry a power bank um, with me when I'm out and about and taking photos. I don't want to worry about navigating as I'm walking, taking photos as I'm going around, and then running out of juice when I need it to find my way home or take that last cool picture. So that with a charger for my phone. Phone I usually keep separate in my pant pocket. I bring a buff, which is nice to come for your neck, to keep it warm, become a hat for your head pull down over your eyes. Um, say you're trying to sleep on the plane and block out some of the light. Really nice to have a buff. This I carry, which is a Sea to Summit inflatable pillow. It turns out I'm not, um, what do you call them? Neck, neck pillow person on a plane. They just kind of creak my neck in bad ways, but I love this for my low back and or my neck. It's you just inflated a little bit if you need a little, a lot if you need a lot. Love this on flights. And I think that's all that's in there. Before I get into my little bag of goodies here, I will say um, it does fit an iPad, which I brought with me and didn't use at all. Sometimes I'll pack just a little beanie hat to fit in there. I was traveling in the spring or I have this derby hat that packs real nice. If all of a sudden it gets hot or whatever and you don't want it, cold, you grab it out and a rain slicker that I just use a Velcro cinch to tuck in here. Depending on the weather, sometimes alternately, I brought this and or a likewise rolled up um, sort of compressible down vest for warmth. So layering is always nice when traveling. Um, something I thought I might bring but didn't bring was a knockoff Swiss card. I had purchased it thinking I would just be interested in the little drivers on the end of this quad driver, but decided it's cute, but maybe not that practical and went an alternate route. So um, in this bag of goodies, all right, I'll let you get a close up there. I didn't put anything in the exterior. I made a video previously about this same bag um, Viperod. I think it's the VE10 or something like that. So what did I put in here? Emergency whistle, because why not? My Robivon A8 flashlight, recently replaced by them when my first purchase failed, but they had great customer service and sent me a new one. A little lighter. Nobody asked me, um, for a light in Paris, but about one out of three men smoked, so it was a possibility. Um, I did get asked in French for directions, so I guess I pulled off not looking too touristy. Um, that was a fail for them. Sorry, Paris person. I brought one of these Fisher Space pens, bullet pens. Didn't really like how it writes too much and didn't end up journaling, like I said earlier, so didn't really need that. Instead, what would have been adequate was my little modified manager where, you know, it's got the little multi-tool on here and the scissors and the flathead nail file 
and then the tweezers and the pen. So I could have just used the pen on here. Um, I had made a previous video about this knife, wanting to bring it with me. No problems whatsoever in security now on a domestic flight recently, as well as an international flight recently. But I got worried about it going into museums and ended up not carrying it around with me. I did use it. Um, I used it multiple times when I visited my sister in Florida, um, helped her take the cover plate off of her AC unit only to find that some mouse had gotten in there and chewed wires and so any further endeavors were beyond my pay grade of a beer. Um, but I did that. I used the scissors to snip some things, used a scraper and a screwdriver on it during that trip. And in Paris, I used the scissors to cut off a tag. Outside of that, I didn't need it um, in Paris. So I chose to not carry it with me because going into, I think it was Saint-Champel, um, the church, they had a security and like outside of a lot of the securities, you know, they've got the circle with the slash going through it saying what you can't bring. Um, they all had pictures of multi-tools, like a Swiss army knife with all the tools out like this. And I figure the knife was the biggest concern. And even though this didn't have one, it had all the other ones. So I'd left it by a little waste bin outside of security and tucked it there. And luckily it stayed there till I got back, but decided I didn't want to lose it. And so TSA, it was great, but going around to other security points, like such as museums, it's just more trouble, I suppose, than it's worth. So I brought a carabiner. These are always great to have. I have a small one here on the zip tie. My partner used this between the two zipper pulls on her backpack as a means of anti-theft and really liked how that worked out for her um, chapstick. When not bringing all this other stuff, um, I like the, is it Geeky? Geeky? Um, it's helped me. I've used this to tighten down the bolts on a toilet, you know, that was rickety on the floor. I've used the driver on it. I've used it to adjust bolts on a um, scooter visor that I'd rented on a recent trip to Florida. So this has actually come in clutch a few times. I like that. I couldn't help but to bring the Gnipex, um pliers. This came in handy in our Airbnb where the kitchen faucet was really rattly. So I got under the sink and whereas little else likes to fit behind an installed sink basin to get to the um, fixture back there. This was able to sneak in and do the job and my host was really happy and I felt very happy, <laughs> you know? So I brought those. Um, I didn't end up needing it, but I finally got in this kit a little um, patch of the Gorilla Tape. That would be great if, um, I don't have it pictured here, I should though. It's a Polar brand, simple, compressible backpack that fits about this big. It's just like a thin nylon and it stuffs into its own pocket. So for example, the carabiner, you could clip that onto the side of this if you thought, okay, maybe I need to grab some groceries and it's not all gonna fit in here. So I like to bring that. Um, or on the plane if you've got a few extra things. But what if that nylon tears? Well, no worries if you have something like this. Just a Band-Aid and um, toothpick. Some zip ties. Uh, this can be handy for things like your luggage. I ended up checking my bag on the way home, which is checking bags is kind of against my religion, so to speak. But um, I bought a bunch of open L knives, so I had to check my bag and I wanted to put a zip tie um, where the zipper pulls come together so that if security went in there, um, I, I would know it. I did have things stolen from me many years ago now before I, my 15 year long um, refusal to check bags. I checked a bag and had some tech stuff stolen from luggage in Korea. And so I was like, Ugh, zip ties, at least I'll know if you were in there, you can't claim you weren't. Not that I'd ever get any recourse, but and then a little tin, which is full of all sorts of little doodads. Um, probably most handy. Um, I've got a pin, a safety pin, large and small paper clip, a SIM card. What do you call them? Needle pusher thing. But what's most handy is just having a few meds. I've got two extra strength Tylenols, one extra strength Naproxen, and like a, a Pepsid. Um, in case you eat any crazy French food that makes you funny or in case you walk too far and your back is screaming at you for mercy. So yeah, that's the whole deal there. Um, not sure what else to say. I would be curious from you guys if you feel that 
anything is missing in particular or what has benefited from you. Anyway, any comments, feedback, uh, I'd love to hear it. Thanks for watching. I'll do a fast forward as I put all this away.